Pac-Man, the big yellow ball that eats other smaller balls. Does anyone get this game? I mean, my eight-year-old brother can come up with the coolest sounding game. Anyways, we remade it, and I hope you enjoy our journey. We started by looking up the classical Pac-Man map, which was a five-second Google search. We then found a ready-made map on Sketchfab and yoinked it. We began by adding collision to the map and made sure to scale the maze to a proper size. Then we added a navigation mesh to make sure that the spacing is correct for when the AI ghosts start moving at a later time. And now, we shall create a grey ball man and adjust his camera angle to have it resemble the top-up cam angle the original game had. We added a basic movement and rotation and set him loose as you can see. But I felt that we can barely see him when he's behind a wall. You can't see me. And because I want to keep the camera at the same side, I had to create a material mask that creates a hole in the wall. It looked ugly but I categorized it as prototyping and moved on. I then did a quick teleport system. It just detects if our boy pack into an invisible cube, so it teleports him to the opposite side. And here's how it turned out. Hi, how are you? Now it was time to work on the things that pack th man eats. We got the insane dots. Wow, look at them. Yellow and brown. I wish you could eat them. I had to put them one by one. And oh boy, those big yellow power pellets. You're telling me they glow? I bet they taste even better. The hungry man. Anyways, we then created the prototype for the fruit so that Pac-Man would be able to eat for a few extra points on the score. And here's the final look, with the dots, power pellets, and fruits already in place. They still don't really do anything, but we'll add their mechanic now. We added a quick score UI that tracks the current score, and saves your high score once you die then made the small yellow dots edible, so when Pac-Man collides with them, it adds points to the score. Next up, we added a flickering effect on the power pellets, just like the original game, and made them also edible. But they don't power us up yet, we'll leave that till later when we finish the ghost mechanic, so we can see them run. Why are you running? To start with the ghosts, I created four more balls that move just like the yellow large ball. I removed the four balls and kept one ball. The first red ball is also known as our boy, Blinky. Blinky! I made Blinky find a path in front of Pac-Man to try and cut him off, and look at him go! Oh, and if you're wondering about the red ball in front of Pac-Man, that's where Blinky's trying to get to. You'll see more balls for each ghost AI. I'm sorry, enough balls. I also added to all the ghosts this chase mode, where if Pac-Man is really close to them, they'll stop doing their special move, such as Blinky cutting off Pac-Man, and instead just follow Pac-Man to the end of the earth. When I catch you, Ricky! Ricky, when I catch you, Ricky! Ricky, when I catch you, Ricky! I then added Pinky to the mix. Pinky moves to an old position Pac-Man took in order to attempt at blocking him from using the same path he used. And as you can see, that could have been fatal to our boy Pac if killing mechanic was added. Now Inky. Inky is more of a chill dude. He only hangs around the vicinity of Pac-Man at the party, but doesn't really actively chase him. I felt it was really hard to keep track of the ghosts, especially if they hide behind a wall. So we moved the camera farther to see more of the map. And finally, Clyde. Clyde has a bit of an IQ problem. He just moves oh. around the map however oh. he likes, and if Pac-Man accidentally gets close to him, he chases our yellow boy. <laughs> and finally, it's time to eat the ghost. Once Pac-Man eats a power pellet, the ghosts try to run away in an attempt to save their pathetic ghostly lives. Once they're eaten, a score pops up on top of the ghost. A slow-mo effect plays and the ghost goes back to the base, defeated. And if Pac-Man doesn't have the power pellet, he can now get killed. Animations will be added later, but for now we only show the game over screen and allow players to restart. We're pretty much done with the logic now, and can finally start with the art. Let's start with the environment. I first added a big white plane, we'll consider this city canvas if you will. We then placed some cyberpunk buildings I got from a pack randomly onto the plane. And here's the final look, after adding a nighttime HDRI backdrop, volumetric fog, emissive buildings, and nightlife props on the streets. To top it all off, I finally created a tilt shift effect in order to give this feel like Pac-Man is a miniature game played on an arcade cabinet. This effect really gave nice depth to the environment. It's finally time to hide the balls and dress them up with cool ghostly cloaks. We had to get creative with them, not too far from the original look, but still having that cyberpunky feeling to it. And what screams cyberpunk more than tubes, am I right? We thought it would look cool as if the ghost's eyes are being fed by some sort of magical goop from their bodies. And the cloak looks like ass, and we have to do it again. What the hell is even that? We dragged the model to ZBrush where we will add more details and boom, more details. After importing them to Unreal Engine, the first thing we did was enable cloth simulation. Unreal's case, cloth sim is pretty good if you know what you're doing. However, I do not know what I was doing. 
We tried playing the game with the current horrible cloth simulation, and unfortunately, the ghosts looked like Turkish twirl dancers. We took a break from the cloth sim and deported the rest of the materials into Unreal. However, just like everything in life, nothing f works. The clock keeps slipping inside the ghost glowing core, and so we had to reimport it to fix it. We finally fixed the cloth simulation. Then we even added tube physics simulation, and now is the time to change the ghosts to their proper color. It was as simple as changing a color slider on the ghosts. Boo! Did I scare you? Here's the ghost's final form, colored beautifully. And in game, they glow the whole area up. It looks really nice. We then added a death and flee mode inside the material, so that it automatically changes based on the ghost's mod. Here's the gameplay for that too. The gameplay is good, but you know what's even better? Our Patreon! Hop onto our Patreon for exclusive development discussions, early access to our videos, and if you're a dev, you can get Pac-Man and our old games project files easily. Link in the description. Now for the walls. Ugh. We modeled the walls and floor in Blender. They were basic cubes with different extrudes and scale for each wall, and they had different materials to make it suit the buildings around it. We're not gonna show the misalignment issues because that took so many tries to get it right. Anyways, after placing them, we started working on the material in Unreal Engine, and we tried adding a substrate material to it, and although it looked cool, this killed 40 FPS from our game. We settled for a basic circuit looking material and added some emissiveness to it. Then created a basic foggy glass for the floor and the panning noise under it. And here's the final result inside the scene. Modeling our boy was no easy job. We wanted him to fit our environment while keeping his original look of a blob mother. <coughs> Pac Man should look cyberpunky but not over the top or look too futuristic. With a simple paint peeling effect on Pac Man, he looks ready to marry Miss Pac Woman. We finally got our boy Pac in Unreal Engine, and he's looking extra crispy. <laughs> boy. Wait, we forgot to rig it, bro. We quickly rigged it in Blender using an armature modifier, and animated that bad boy in Unreal. We got ready-made sound and particle effects for the remake. And here's how they look and sound in game. We got Pac-Man munching like it's his last meal. And we got the spooky ghost sounding like ghosts, more like UFOs. That's what you get for using free sound effects. We had to fix some other things off camera, but here's the final look. Come here, boy! Pow! Oh! I don't know what I'm doing! Since you reached the end of the video, could you please click that like button? That'll be all. I hope to see you in the next video.